Hello everyone and welcome to 1.20. I know it's been a while, but we've just been waiting and waiting for this update. Could I have played the pre-releases? Yes, but I I can't zoom. I'll just in post. <laughs> Didn't want to. Um wanted to make sure everything was okay. It's gonna be a little janky for a little bit because it literally just came out the day that I'm recording this and you know none of our no, no, none of our mods are out um so there will be no fun time lapses i will not be able to zoom um we can't have any cool shader shots <laughs> but if you can look above me i found this beautiful glory seed on twitter the other day and we're gonna use it because if you look above me We've already got the chip. There is a beehive in that tree. Slay. But if you look above me, we are already within cherry blossom biome. It stuff. Um, but we we always gotta do the usual Minecraft things. So let's get started. And that first thing I gotta do. Hello, sir. No, no, please, 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 thank you. Some of you may be thinking, punch a tree first. I'm like, no. There's one more. Come here, my child. One of the things that I like to do the most is make sure that I've got a bed as soon as I can. Not that we're playing in hardcore, hardcore. I will let you know that every time I've tried to start a hardcore series, my the world is always called hardcore because I can't spell. But this is gonna be a survival series because I just want to have fun with it, and I just want a, a bed. I want a bed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that was a that was a little dark, but it is funny. Good news is, is there is an oak tree right here. I'm trying to see if that goes all the way up, and I think it does. So I'm going to just get us our simple tools first, and then we will, you know, make our way up there and scout the lands. It is absolutely beautiful up here. I love this seed so much more than I thought I would. Look, you've got like this like cool little upper bit. It's basically kind of like a ring around. Like you've got all of these cherry blossoms. We've got all of these cherry blossoms up on this upper edge. And then you've got like a beautiful flat plains biome down there which is probably gonna be really good for us and our building so I'm very excited I've been really into modded Minecraft lately um, if you don't know over on Twitch I've been streaming this little mod pack that I made kind of based on the new life SMP like with shovel and Scott and Lizzie and Joel and all of them um, The reason I bring it up is because I saw that rabbit and my instant urge was to try and kill it so that I could tame an otter. Not an otter. A ferret. There we go. But I didn't. It's okay. Hmm. I think what I want to do is honestly that little knoll right there. I don't know if I'm using the word correctly. I don't know what words are. I can't zoom in and I'm very upset about it. Um, I can see well. I just like zoom for dramatic effect. Um, I am half millennial. I get it on my dad's. I'm kidding. No, I am like on the cusp of Gen Z millennial. So it's fun. But that little area right there, I think would be cute for our little starter home cottage situation because, because obviously I want to do like our big builds down in like the flat land over there. But I like just having a starter house that we can keep and just remember right there so i'm 
gonna go think about it. Probably a, a live stream um, that will happen before this video comes out. Oops. Okay, so one three hour stream later and I've got an idea for a house for us to build for our starter house. But the things that we're gonna need is to sleep. But the things that we're gonna need are birch, cherry, and oak. But I think we should probably go get some tools to make this a little easier. Yes, we have tools, but like better tools. So let's go on a mining expedition. Okay, so for this next part, since we don't have replay, it's I'm just gonna show you how I decided to go ahead and build this, and you will know a bit of a bitrate droppage. Um, I had to set something up for a podcast that I run with my friend, and it threw off my bitrate for YouTube recording. I think I fixed it later on. I'm not sure, but it's okay. So originally what I, obviously this, build looks nothing like what I streamed. You don't know that. You'll find out later. Um, but I was really inspired by this gradient that I saw another builder use, which went from like pink wool all the way to the planks. And I really liked it, but it felt very flat. So this is me, honestly, just like throwing trapdoors and slabs anywhere I can to give this build a little bit of dimension. And as for the trim, I really kind of wanted to do something different. I really liked the birch log look of it, but obviously birch log don't have stairs and slabs. So I ended up changing it to diorite because as you can see, it went from birch into diorite, but then I didn't like the birch anymore because it just felt too like much of a stark contrast. And as you can see right now, I change it into diorite, trying to give it a little bit of dimension. I put some polished diorite in there and then obviously closing up some of the sides. Putting in our windows because honestly, when you don't have lanterns, your best source of light is windows. But not when you decided to put your house in this weird knoll situation and you get horrible lighting. And here we have it, everyone. Our final build. I wasn't sure that I'd like it too much. Oh yeah, I got shaders now. So, so we've got a different instance going and I just moved my saves. So now I can have some mods. So the, some of them will be coming in slowly but surely because I still can't zoom. But we do have that and we've got some other ones like tooltips that I like to use. But it's all okay. And, but look at it. I really like the way that it came out. It's not a style that I'd probably usually build in. I know the lighting over here is horrible, but I really like how it came out. I wasn't expecting to. And to be completely honest for a little bit, I didn't. But I really, the, the roof is really cool. The whole, you know, leave me alone. I know how to play Minecraft. Yeah, I, you know. Leave me alone. Um, 
Yeah, since we're in a new instance, it keeps telling me how to play. Oh my god, it's golden hour. Take a selfie and cheese. Okay, no, um, we're gonna probably go sleep it off. That's one thing that always confuses me about shaders is knowing when nighttime is. But apparently it's nighttime. Slay. But here we have my lovely house with a diorite trim. I honestly decided on a diorite trim solely because I wanted to use a birch trim, but birch logs don't have stairs or slabs or anything. So I ended up choosing diorite instead, and it kind of gives the same vibe. But outside we have uh, food because I jumped. But outside we got these little flower boxes that me and everybody else is using now that these cherry blossoms are out. Cherry petals, whatever they're called. And because I couldn't put a little trap door on the insides because there's only one block I decided to put water log a stair and make it look like we're watering the plants and then I pretty much have that same thing on every side water permit there's no water here um, but then more win more window boxes um, there aren't any on this side I might put one out here I just didn't because originally there was supposed to be a farm here and then I decided against it so here we are but let's go inside. I love the sound of this. I don't know why it scratches like it just scratches a part of my brain. But inside we have my little stone cutter and a fern eye that I plan to put some trapdoors under to make it look like a shelf. And then over here, back behind our ladder, we've got some storage. It may not look like a lot, but I do have chests in the floor as well as up above. So we've got some pretty good storage, about eight double chests, if I know how to do math. My gears did turn a little bit. It's okay. And then we've got the good old trapdoor ladder trick, and we go up. And in here we have the bedroom, and it looks like so warm in here because I put my shaders on warm and also the way that I lit it up is there's just a bunch of torches behind these trap doors. I may need to like rework up here uh, probably when I get like enough iron and stuff to get lanterns but because right now all we can do is like decorate this center strip because these trap doors take up the two sides but for now it's just a starter house I don't really have much to do up here I think it's okay but I really like how this house came out ow for any of the people that watched my stream it is not the same house and I'm sorry but I liked that house but it was just way too big I will insert a picture here it was just way too big for me and it being a starter house that I'm just like I don't want to do it and because of my memory issues, that house was way too big. I could not remember for the life of me. And I didn't want to keep like going back and forth and back and forth. So I just winged this house. And I think it looks really cool. I hope you liked this house. I, 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 it's, kind, it's kind of quirky and crazy if you think about it. But if you like this house, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below and tell me what you want to see from me in this series. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye!